All right, hello everybody. Um, this is going to be a session or a quick video on conducting literature reviews um, or a lit search. Uh, literature reviews a little more in depth. Um, so I'm going to be running you through a lit search real quick. So for me personally, let's start here. I go to Google Scholar. So that is my main area. Um, and the reason that I like Google Scholar is because it links to everything else. It links to um, links to everything that our university has access to, um, links to outside of our university, links to a whole variety of sources. The downside of that is if you're not super experienced, um, you may come across some things that are not academic um, that might look academic. Um, so just keep that in mind, okay? And I'll, I'll show you some tips on uh, how to address some of those issues. So first thing we want to do um, is we want to go up to this top left corner here um, with these three little bars. And what we want to do is go to settings. And the reason we want to go to settings is we want to make sure that our library is connected or your library is connected. So go to library links here on the left and then type in University of Washington. University of Washington, and then there we go. And you might have to go to the next page. So I have University of Washington clicked here. Um, if you have access to other universities, type in those other universities too. Um, so community college or something, for example, and then save. So <clears throat> let's say, for example, um, this is this is part of the, the first process to the research page. Um, a research proposal, and so we want to start thinking about the literature that fits with our particular topic. So, um, a couple of things here. So I'm going to use the topic of anti-racism, right? So that's that's my research. Anti-racist activism is my research, and so what I want to start with doing, um, just to start with a general search, I might type in anti-racism. All right. And as you can see here, there's going to be 50,000 plus um, articles and books and stuff like that on anti-racism. Um, and, and most of this notes when it is a book and when it's not a book. For our, and oh, and a, a nice thing about this um, in Google, it gives you related searches, right? So if I want to talk about um, anti-racism campaigns, white anti-racism um, in, among indigenous Australians, so on and so forth. Um, because our assignment is I'm wanting you to look for new papers um, from starting in 2009 up until now, we want to add in a custom range. And so I'm going to say 2009, and I'm just going to leave this open um, because that assumes 2019. Um, and so do the search. All right? And so that brings it down a little bit, but we still have a ton of things going um, so what I might want to do to bring it down a little bit more, so I'm a psychologist, right? And so, um, let's say I'm interested in issues of anti-racism within the field of psychology. What I want to do is I can do anti-racism and then I can say, um, actually I forget exactly how this works. So I'm going to go this way and do it this way. Um, click on the little three buttons here, go to advanced search, and articles published in, I'm going to say psychology, right? So that's going to bring up any journal that has the word psychology in it. So we're talking about um, their Journal of Social and Personality Psychology, the American Journal of Community Psychology, um, the, uh, the and, and all of the other uh, articles that have the word psychology in it. So we're gonna click the search button, and now we're down to 326 results, right? So they really condensed a lot of that. Um, so what I wanna start doing here is look at things that might be of interest that might start formulating a more clear idea, right? So we have this paper here, Social Norms and the Expression of Prejudice, the Development of Reverse racism in childhood, um, and there's somewhere in this paper the term anti-racism here is here. So I might open this up. So I'm going to right click and open in a new tab, and I'm going to look at this paper, right? And so 
it loads for me. What I want to do is I want to read the abstract of this paper, right? And so it should come up. Oh, there it goes. Um, and so the abstract gives me an idea of what this paper is about. It's a very brief, you know, one paragraph synopsis of the, the entire paper, right? So this reads about, um, it looks like two studies were conducted with this. Um, looks like there was uh, anti-racist norm, salience, and so I would read through this and see if it fits with, um, with my topic, right, more specifically. And so if it does, um, a couple of things I can do here is I really like the cited by button. And so if this paper fits really, really well with my particular topic, um, what I might do is go to this cited by thing. And what that does is it brings up all the other papers that cited this specific paper, right? So we can look in here um, and we can look at norms and social influence. Um, and so what I would do is I would just kind of scroll through and read the um, read the titles of these papers, right? Included but invisible, subtle bias, common identity, and so so maybe I'm turning more interested into issues of bias. Um, and so I could look at some stuff around bias, right? So this you know this this process might take some time um, because for me personally, you know what I do is I I see some of this stuff. I read these papers, or at least read the read the abstracts, and I become interested in um, in that particular topic, right? So it can kind of change and shift um, my direction a little bit, um, and so I might do something like this, right? Look at these look at these papers and see how they they might fit my topic, um, or maybe shift my topic a little bit. And so there's that piece, and then the the next piece that I want to show you guys here um, is identifying what is quote unquote a journal or not. And so the best, I mean, my, my sort of rule of thumb is if it has, um, if it's published by Wiley or um, Springer or one of those sort of um, major kind of libraries, um, then that's gonna be a good way to to identify another is if it has actually has the word journal in the name of the journal. Um, some journals don't necessarily have that, right? So there's there's a couple of issues, or a couple of journals, not a couple, a lot of journals that don't have the word journal in their title, but for the most part they do, right? So this one's the European Journal of Social Psychology. Um, community Psychology's major publication is the Journal of Community Psychology or American Journal of Community Psychology. Um, if you're interested in political science, then, you know, there's the Journal of Political Science. I think there's a Journal of Politics. So you have all of these different journals, right? And so it's about identifying, um, identifying a journal, um, an academic journal, right? And so if it says journal, it's probably an academic journal. So that's a way to identify whether or not um, it's a good fit for this particular project. And then last but not least, um, in the assignment, I ask you to cite the paper. Um, another reason I really love Google um, Scholar is because if you click on this little quote right here, it says cite, it'll pop up and it'll give you the exact APA um, citation. And so you can just copy this and then you can paste it in a Word document somewhere, right? Or paste it in that, in the, in the specific assignment. Um, so I hope this is helpful. This kind of gets you set off in, an, in a good direction. Um, please, if you have questions, let me know and good luck.